So what we've talked about is that we're bringing 4G LTE technology to Chevrolet vehicles starting this summer across the vehicle lineup, from the small cars like the Spark and Sonic, to the Impalas, what we're doing right now, to the high-end Corvette and Silverados. Um, so people, everybody will have the option to get built-in 4G LTE technology. And what that means is that there's a Wi-Fi hotspot built into the vehicle. So you'll see here on this tablet that I have is I'm actually connected to the Chevrolet Impala Wi-Fi. I have five bars, and you can do things like email, Google, stream Netflix here. Um, this is meant for the passengers, the kids in the back seat, so they can stay connected to the devices they love. Up to seven devices can connect to the car at one time, and it works about a 10-foot radius around the car. So if you're tailgating at a job site, you can still experience the 4G connectivity there. What's really going to benefit from the 4G connectivity is a built-in app shop that's also launching later this year. So you'll see this apps icon. I'll launch this real quick. Um, just like there's an app shop on your smartphone, there's going to be an app shop in your vehicle now. And these are apps that we've tailored for in-vehicle use. So you can pick and choose which app you may want in your vehicle, scroll through, read about them, get a description, and choose to actually download them directly to the vehicle without your smartphone. You can leave your phone at home and still get access to these apps. So we've actually downloaded a number of these apps to the vehicle already. Um, one that I'm really excited about is an app called Vehicle Health. This is an app that won't really be possible on your smartphone today because it is talking to all the different vehicle key operating systems. It's providing a unique service that's inherent to the vehicle. So right now, it's a vehicle health monitor. It's making sure all your systems are up to date. So I'm going to do a quick on-the-spot diagnostics check to make sure everything from airbags, brakes, OnStar, the engine, the emissions, everything looks like it's okay at this point. You can also check things like maintenance, so tire pressure, oil life, when your next service appointment is. And actually from the app, you can schedule a service appointment. So if you have a preferred dealer set up, you can actually schedule an appointment at your preferred dealer and route you there from the app. Now I'm gonna simulate an issue with the app. So I'm gonna say that the tire pressure in this car is very low. This is how it changes. It'll tell you what tire it is. If you click on the maintenance screen, it'll tell you your tire's at five PSI. You should probably get this checked out right away. And you'll see, you don't actually have to launch the app to see that the icon on the home screen has changed to alert you that there is an issue with the car. And go back and make everything okay. So now the icon, that's how it looks normally. Other apps that really make sense in the vehicle, weather channel, so you can get you know, a quick forecast of where you are or your final destination. Event seeker, so you can get a number of information on different events in your area. Audio streaming apps like TuneIn, Slacker, iHeartRadio, um, and Glimpse, which is a cool app that actually allows you to send a destination to whoever you choose to send to, and they'll actually see your GPS route moving along the way until you finally arrive at your final destination. So these are apps that really make sense in the vehicle, and they're tailored and drive for in-vehicle use. You'll see here in the Glimpse app, this is what someone will receive they, since the car's not moving right now. The GPS isn't moving, but they would get a map and actually see the route along the way until you arrive there. The last thing that I wanted to show real quick is some of the remote connectivity functionality of this connected car. So you see on my watch, on our wrist right now, I'm wearing this Samsung Galaxy Gear 2 connected watch. Now, we've actually tailored a version of OnStar Remote Link to work on this watch as well. So you can do things like lock, unlock, start the car, honk the horn and lights from your watch, and it works from any distance. If I lock the car here, the vehicle will lock um, via my watch. The notification of the vehicle is now locked, um, and this is functionality you know, through wearable technologies as well. So you have the capability to stay connected with your mobile devices through the Wi-Fi hotspot. You have the embedded connectivity through the app shop, and then you have the remote connectivity through wearables like, like your Samsung watch or your smartphone as well. This is kind of how we're bringing the connected car to life starting this summer.